Hey guys, how are you? I hope all of you are doing really good and I really hope that the first two papers went really well for all of you and now we are moving on to our third paper that is cost accounting. I want all of you to be really attentive for the next 5 to 10 minutes because what I am going to tell you is how to make the best utilization of the next few hours for your upcoming examination that is paper number 3 cost accounting that you have studied from me and I am going to tell you a few exam tips a few areas that you need to avoid right so that there is no mistake in the examination a few tips how to attempt the paper that is really important please watch the video till the end because this these 10 minutes can be really helpful for the next one and a half days okay okay now how to prepare first of all we'll come to how to prepare the first thing that you have to do is the first thing that you have to focus on the concepts for that you have to watch our relay run right i've shared already shared the links in the telegram channel telegram group all the links are given in the video description okay so what you have to do is you have to watch the relay run that is for approximately three hours and in this what is covered is all the concepts are covered in this relay run so this is the most important part before the examination please focus on the concepts because if you are not able to recall any of the concepts you will not be able to apply it you will not be able to solve the practical problem okay right sir and uh, on the day today itself i will be up uh, the day i am uploading this video you have come from your law, law paper you must be tired right this is the time three hours obviously you can spare out three hours just listen to the relay run nothing else do not pick up any question just focus and focus on the relay run these three hours are going to be really important okay and this is one thing that you can do on the day you are coming from the law paper right next day what you have to do is after this three hours of the relay run you have to sleep take a good sleep right next day what you have to do is you have to pick up the selected question selected questions selected question from icai module right so i hope all of you must have done the icai module by now icai module each and every question you must have done and whatever the questions you feel from each of the chapters pick one chapter first chapter material costing find out which is a very typical question that you uh, find is difficult okay just go through that question do not go into the uh, solving that question you just have to go through you have to just focus on what is that one uh, problem area right that you might face you need to understand that if you are uh, you know if you are uh, confusing it with some concept go through that concept quickly again and go through with the next question okay selected question from the ICI module the next thing that you have to do is you have to do the selected questions from the three RTPs that is uh, one current RTP one current RTP and two last RTP you can solve these RTPs right this is what you have to do that is RTP of November 22 then RTP of May 22 right then RTP of November 21 that is November December 21 whenever the exams were there right November December 21 so these are the RTPs that you have to go through and if you think that the question is very simple just skip that you have to focus only and only on the problematic areas where you think that you might face the problem you have to focus only and only on that area you don't have to solve each and every question you don't have to spend time on solving uh, you know the easier questions which you can easily solve there can be easier question right but that doesn't mean the easier questions uh, you know can cannot be asked in the examination e if the institute is asking easier questions that means he's testing you somewhere because once there was the paper which was very very easy but people couldn't clear it why because we always focus on the tougher questions and forget about the easier questions right but now is the time that you have to focus in this particular day you have to focus on the problematic areas okay the most important thing is you need to be clear with your concepts if you're not clear with your concepts please please watch the relay run twice there is no issue 
watch it twice that is why i have kept it to 3 hours where i have covered all the concepts so that even if you want to uh, do it twice you can do it this is very important okay and from the questions point of view people ask me that sir we want to do the uh, questions also this is the thing that you have to do nothing more than that please do not get yourself confused by doing new questions please do not pick even a single new question even if your friend is sending you a question which you haven't seen it please totally ignore it totally ignore it it's okay even if it is asked in the examination it's okay it's completely okay please because what will happen is you will get panic right and once you are panicked all your preparation goes into some other zone clear so you don't have to panic at all that is very much uh, important that your calm mind everything whatever you are doing do it with a calm mind you people will absolutely rock it if you have done your hard work then there is nothing to worry right so this is what you have to do in the next 1.5 days or whatever the hours number of hours divided according to the hours the first thing that you have to do is complete this relay run right then selected questions from the ICI module then the three RTBs that's it nothing else to be done clear this is all what you have to do go through with your notes the concept notes uh, anyone who is having my books if you find any of the question is there which is typical in my book you can go through that question additionally right after completing all this if you feel you have time you can do that particular question uh, additionally right now some of the exam tips which are really really important exam tips the first tip the first and the foremost tip is stay calm stay calm right this is going to really help you i know it is easier said than done during the examinations because i have gone through that procedure i know it is very difficult to stay calm uh, but yes it is important to stay calm that is what i have learned during my examination days and uh, if on the examination day i i don't uh, used to pick up the books right right uh, uh, before 3 4 hours before the examination i used to close my books right just sit, sit down relax my mind and then attempt the paper that is that was the strategy that i used to follow and i you know that that really worked for me so stay calm nothing to worry about it okay now the next is the first 15 minutes that you get to read paper 15 minutes now this is the most important part in these 15 minutes what you have to do is you have to decide which question to start with this is the most important part right in this you have to decide which question to start with now once you have decided that which question you want to start with let's say you have decided that you want to start with question number two a part now make sure that you are doing the question number two b part along with the a part please do not commit this mistake this is a very common blunder that you people have been committing that you will do first two a then you are doing question number four a then three b you know uh, this is really a blunder please do not do this if you are doing 2a then do 2b whatever the steps you know there is a step marking whatever the steps you uh, know of the 2b you have to solve it along with the 2a please do this okay uh, third thing is do not go by any abc analysis this was this should be there actually do not follow any abc analysis do not follow abc analysis right please guys do not follow this abc analysis this is a very big blunder i will say i call this as blunder right b for blunder please do not follow institute doesn't give any abc analysis institute doesn't follow any abc analysis this is all self created and this is the uh, i think the biggest tool for self destruction please do not go for any abc analysis okay now once you have decided the question to a to b please do it calmly focus on one question at a time focus on one question at a time because this is a very common thing that happens in the examination while we are solving 2a we will be thinking about 4a that yaar wo question to mujhe aata nahi i don't know that question how will i solve it i will lose marks or uh what are the other thoughts the other thoughts are uh, in the law paper i forgot to do this in accounts i forgot to do this please leave all this whatever has happened whatever you have attempted in the accounts and law that you cannot change right even if you are going to lose 5 7 marks marks for that can you afford to lose 50 marks in the next paper 
thinking about the five marks that you might lose in the accounts and law, which you cannot change. Right? You can't afford to uh, lose 50 marks for those five marks. So forget about that. Totally forget about what you have written and focus on the question which you are attempting. That's it. Not even the other question of the same paper. You don't have to think about that. Isn't it? Because what will happen if you are if you are solving 2A and you are thinking about the question number 4A, then obviously 101% you will commit error. 101% you will commit error in uh, solving this question 2A. Whether it is a calculation error, whether it is a writing error, you are definitely going to commit an error. So please be focused on one question at a time. Whatever the question you are solving, make sure that the calculations are correct. Make sure whatever you are writing is correct. Make sure that whatever the notes that you are going to give at the bottom of the solution, that is correct. Whatever the assumptions that you are going to make, that is correct. And read the question very carefully. Each and every line might have a different meaning. So you need to, uh, you know, read the question very, very, very carefully. That is very important in the examination. It might take half a minute extra, but it will save lot of marks. Right. So the next step is read question carefully. Okay. Some other important tips. Listen to it very carefully. What? Do not discuss anything with any of your friends. Once you are going to the examination hall, it should be only and only you. Do not discuss anything with anyone, right? Once you have come out of your examination, do not discuss with anyone, right? Whatever you have written, that is absolutely fine. You cannot change it. You cannot do anything about that. Forget about it. Focus on the next paper. Whatever has happened, has happened. You can't do it. You can't, uh, you can't do anything about it. You can't change it. So just focus on the next. And for that, the biggest thing is do not discuss your paper with anyone. Do not discuss with anyone. Please, this is a blunder. Right? Focus on the next examination. Okay? I will share my views on the paper. I will just share the overall views. I'm not going, I will not be uh, sharing the in-depth solutions. Why? Because then you will start comparing your solutions. Then you will start taking the stress. And in the process, what will happen is you will spoil your next paper, right? So I'm not going to share the in-depth solution. I will just share my reviews on the paper that how was the paper uh, right on 6th. That's it. That is what I'm going to share with you people. Okay. So this is what you have to follow guys. And uh, I hope that you people will follow this. And if you are going to follow this, definitely you will, uh, you know, score, you will attempt very good. Score is a separate part, right? The first thing is attempt. So you will attempt very, very good paper. The paper will be easy. Nothing to worry about it. If you have done sufficient practice, the paper is going to be really, really, really easy for all of you. Absolutely nothing to worry about it. This is the most important part. If you are able to stay calm, you will definitely win this battle. You will definitely win this battle. And write down in the comment section that, yes, sir, we will win this battle. This is very easy paper. Cost accounting, one of the most scoring papers. And please, be the only thing that you have to do is stay calm, focus on your concepts, and do whatever I have told you. You are definitely bound to get very good marks, right? So all the best, guys. All the best for your preparation. I will be available for you uh, on the telegram if you will be asking something i will be available on email right and all the paid courses students have the access to the whatsapp also so guys i will be available for you guys please 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 stay calm stay focused on your preparation stay focused on one question at a time in the examination follow these exam tips and definitely you will rock the paper right so all the best guys see you on 6th evening i will share with you the paper analysis right so god bless you all all the best